everybody, it's Sonia Swan and it's video three on the Blast Success Tracker. You made it, you made it to number three. This is exciting. All right, number three is one of my favorite parts of this book, I have to say. It's one of my favorite parts. Why? Because this is the weekly activity tracker and really it should be called the daily activity tracker because this is a way to track our income producing activity, not just our activity because we can be really active but not be productive. So we want to help you do those things that are going to be income producing things down the road. So this is a little weekly activity tracker. I know you can't see these well in the video, but I'm showing you anyway. And it has little checklists for every day. So on Sunday, it says I used Young Living products. Did you know that's an income producing activity? Because if you use Young Living products every day, you are going to be so excited about them because they're amazing. And so that's one of our income producing activities. I completed X amount of personal development. I contacted X many new prospects today. This is a big thing. And it gives you one through five. You can set your own goals. If you want to set your goal for talking to two new people every day about Young Living, then two is your goal. You don't have to fill them all five in or feel like you're not doing it if you don't get all five of them in. But there's five little circles on here for you to fill in for each day. I made this many customer care calls, so you can circle those in. Um, I made this many team member calls, people that are actually building and intentionally sharing. So following up with them, making sure that they have what they need, the resources that they need. If you like to do three-way calls or one-on-one -on -one classes, um, those would be in here as well. Um, and meetings and trainings, your own or others. Sometimes our own, of course, it's good to have those on the calendar. And every time we have a class, we want to have a date for another class following so that people can continue to learn and be excited. The more classes we do, the faster, the more momentum that we can build. The big mo, right? And then going to other people's classes, if you can find some cross-line friends or your group has monthly or weekly classes going on, is always great because we learn by watching other people. Maybe we learn what we want to do, maybe we learn what we don't want to do from somebody, but we always learn and that's how we build community. So that's actually on here as well, is attending those classes. So it gives you also some weekly goals. Writing down goals is powerful, powerful, powerful. We do a whole section in BLAST on writing goals because we think it's that important to write things down. Um, Anyway, there's a, whole, there's a whole thing on this. So goals, the number of new people I'm going to make contact with, the number of follow-ups I'm going to do this week, the number of people I'm going to invite to product workshops. And then weekly tasks. I went through the Young Living Business presentation with this many people. I signed up this many members new this week, and I tracked my contacts on my BLAST contact sheet. So these are simple things that we can do every day. Now, what I like to do is um, on, the, on the opposite side of this, so when I've got this sheet up, on the back side is a little list. And I liked about Sunday night, I like to get out my blast tracker and write down who I'm actually going to call that week. So if my goal is to contact two new people that I haven't con contacted about Young Living or just call them even just to build relationship with them, then I'm going to write down who I want to call that week and have it all ready for me. It doesn't take a huge amount of time to build a network marketing business. It does take focus time, however. So if I all of a sudden have 15 minutes, half an hour, that I don't really have anything going on, but I haven't made a plan for what I'm going to do with that time, then chances are I'm just going to waste it playing around on Facebook or answering messages. If I know that that time is going to be time that I'm going to make contact with new people and follow up with old people and I know just who those people are, then I can make that time super productive. I can make 15 minutes five days a week incredibly, incredibly effective if I know ahead of time who I'm going to be calling. So I like to write down on here who I'm going to be calling that week. And then as I make those calls, I can check off on the other side my what I've actually accomplished. And you're not going to, sometimes, you know, you may get an answering machine or you may not end up connecting with that person, but I have a plan. So you work your plan and plan your work, right? This is important for us. And again, when we first become an entrepreneur, there's nobody really to tell us what to do. So we have to tell ourselves what to do every day. There's no boss saying, you need to contact 10 people a day 
And if there's nobody to give me accountability or consequences, if I don't do it, if I don't do it, I'm just not successful. So that's really my consequence. It helps when we can hold our own self accountable to the actual activities. So that's my favorite part of the Blast Notebook. We'll go over some other pieces coming up in video four. We'll see you then.